I just spent the last six months staying at a house pretty much right next door to the cops. How the fuck did they not know? Six months. And just to be sure they're that silly, I was pushing the trolley there. There's probably about eight trolleys outside from the groceries I nicked. Like right next door. Like, I even pushed it past their cop shop about 10 or 20 times. I didn't always leave the trolley at home. I left it up the corner, just not far from there. 80 Railway Terrace, Riverston. They can't miss it. If they go into the house now, they'd, they'd know I was there. That's where I've been for six months, because nobody was there. I can give it away now, because I'm going on holiday, and then coming back for the court case, and then going up to, uh, after that, going on holiday again, and then going to Malta. Uh, so... There'll be no nasty surprises at 80 Railway Terrace. I would never harm a person. Like, I'm not, I haven't booby trapped the place or anything. They don't have to go there. I'm just saying that's, if they really wanted to know that I was there, that they'd find a few things there that would be able to confirm that I was there. I've left a few things behind. So, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, there's absolutely no doubt that I was there. And, uh, are they dumb? I mean, they're fucking dumb. Like right there. They're, they're like right there. I'd like push the trolley from the station up the road, past the right station all the time. Scooters, I'd look to the left. And, the you know, is not permitted. what the fuck? It's absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Just getting the train up the, up the road. Oh, don't mind me. Public transport is my motto. Oh, yeah. But, you know, I've been there for eight months. I've, I've been there for eight months. Fuck me, Dad. Six months. Six months I've been there. How do you miss that? I pushed a trolley, stopping, and I'd be like, come on, like somebody come outside and wave. Like, do they not know I'm pushing the trolley outside? Like, six months in the same place, pretty much next door to the cop station. I, I did promise you a year ago that I would do that. Like, I would sleep in their backyard. I'd, you got to understand my language. I don't literally mean I'm going to go into the cop shop's backyard and sleep with their cars. That's just stupid. It's uh, not metaphorical. It's a figure of speech. But I pretty much did that. Now. It was next door, six months. I mean, they're free to use that house if they like the cops. I was there for six months. They could get up. It probably cost them 600 bucks a week to rent around there. So there's three rooms there. You can, there's a downstairs. Um, there's a library downstairs. Like, as in, you got you can put books and stuff there. The garage is ready for a gym set. There's three showers. One downstairs, two upstairs. Um, it's a very good kitchen. That's where I've been doing all my assessments. Uh, two lounge rooms. I'm double story. I did my research and I found it. Uh, I, I think it belongs to a person that's uh, that died and the, the family are arguing. Um, so it's in dispute and this one looks like it's going to go for three or four years. So I could have stayed there theoretically for another three or four years, but it's not about that. I can fucking stay anywhere for free. I've, scout, I've still got another two or three hundred houses I can go to in Sydney if I really need to. So they can take that house. <laughs> Just... There are a few sex scenes on that bed. So I don't want the police to walk into that bedroom and, and be like, whoa, there's, you know, full nudity. There, there's full nudity in that bedroom. So be careful. Um, <laughs> but as said, there's no booby trap. There's no, no conspicuous thing. And if anything or the such happened, it would be a complete and absolute fucking front uh, in terms of them making up something. Oh, fuck, I haven't even laid a finger on cops for all these years when I should have, so why would I start now? Over a fucking cute court case. Fucking scratch my car. Fuck off. And I think now, I actually do believe I did it. I'm convinced I did it. Uh, because of what happened the other day uh, when I accidentally barged into that person who was running straight at me. Uh, this time I didn't get, a didn't get angry because, I don't know, it was weird. I was sort of happy that he fell over. Because I knew you did it on purpose. I'm not stupid. I, I, I didn't. I didn't barge on purpose. But I was sort of. I looked and I'm like, 
Fucking suck shit, you dickhead. Fucking running at me for these fucking clowns. Trying to coerce me into playing footy and doing all this shit for them. Still. So I didn't get angry. But then I sort of thought, this is right next to where they're accusing me of scratching cars. And I know they've been doing this around here. They've just done it now. Fuck, you're dead. So, yeah. I, 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 can, I can see myself scratching a car. Now, what the police have accused me of is a fucking other thing. I don't, they fucking went overboard. Like, the news and everything. For fuck's sake. But no, I think I did scratch a car. I, I do. Um, was there two cars? Really? Was there three or four? God knows. Uh, but the point is... Fuck. I was right there. I mean, they could have come over for a fucking barbecue or to eat some of my assessment. I mean, I'm talking about pushing entire trolley loads of food. Like, eight bags, ten bags. So I eat a lot. And I'm just pushing it right past the station. And I'm thinking, this is my house just there. Hi, guys. For six months. That's fucking funny shit. I, I, I don't want to make it out as if I wanted to get them back for the time they charged me for uh, being homeless living in that abandoned place and trying to give me a hard time because of that and then fucking having the balls to suggest that uh, I'm not uh, helping myself in terms of Centrelink and uh, housing and all that stuff and just to prove my point I did that with Centrelink and housing and what happened again <laughs> so yeah the police were being smart asses just as their fucking federal government is so I did that, I did that indeed so I thought it would be a nice way to say yeah you, you did get me that one time you did come into the house and fucking uh, charge me for fucking trespassing or whatever it was for being homeless. But here, here's this. I stayed right next to you for fucking six months and you didn't, find, you, you didn't know I was there. Bicycles, so... <laughs> 80 Railway Terrace. Is not permitted. Riverston. I gave them the ad, as the Lebanese would say. The a, a, oh, it, it really does befit what happened I gave them 80 I gave them 80 eight. Yeah. the Lebanese will be amused at that oh. just when you go if they go to the house if they decide to go to the house just be mature minded about what, what's on the bed the sex scene and all that sort of stuff hopefully they're still not having sex on the bed um, but if they are give them a caution warm them, yeah, tell them not to misbehave and all that sort of stuff.